So I first came to the Warren in 1991, so we're talking about 25 years ago, now going to be 46 this year. Prior to that I, I, I left home at 16, joined the army and I was medically discharged for about three and a half years later, so just before I was 20 years old. I think it was a sense of a bit of, uh, of pride, but I didn't want to move straight back to my parents' house and, and, and be seen as a, as a failure in, in, in that respect, so I tried to give things a go by myself. So I spent a bit of time in, in London thinking that there's going to be opportunities there, but I think the skills that I'd actually got from the army didn't necessarily give me any streetwise skills, so before I knew it, um, what I little money I did have from leaving the army, it just soon vanished and I became homeless and um, I remember having to sneak into restaurants, get the meal and then just leg it kind of thing and that was, you know, it was them kinds of things that was, was getting me through. Um, so I mean, it was only for a short period of time, two or three weeks, but it was a case of, okay, maybe I should start heading back to Hull and, and see if I can find a, a safer community here. And so I'd, I'd come across the William Booth house, um, so I, I, in, in total I spent um, a good six months in there before I get in a, a, a council house, no, council flat. And um, coming into the Warren was, was, was something just to escape the everything what was happening in William Booth House because at certain times of the day you was allowed in certain areas so we always knew and I, 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 I met a friend in there and so we'd usually come together we always knew that this place was a bit of a safe haven. We was also mixing with like-minded people so um, common problems which was sharing and you have um, like a your general counselling kind of people or, or, or your staff so there was always there as a point of reference if there's, if there's anything that we needed um, any help with and there was always willing and, and helping to them um, to oblige with that so that was quite cool and it was quite good to come in for a cup of tea it was like 10 minutes at the time I'm not sure if it's gone up but <laughs> inflation um, so so that was the, the you know, that, that was always nice and I think one of the, the most beneficial things here was the fact that um, it was quite easy to come in and, and, and scan through papers for, for things like jobs or, or, or look if there's any um, private housing so not only was it things like your, your newspapers here but your yellow pages and we also had um, use of the telephone as well which you know it was it, it, all these little things was you know, just, just really helpful so that was um, something that I looked forward to coming here because I knew it was, you know, I'd be gaining things from it, and um, and so the Warrens always had a, a, a place in my heart, really. To it's been one of them stepping stones that helped me during that particular time. I mean, you know, I, I mentioned about the restaurants in London, but 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 here I was involved in little bits of petty crime, um, and and if I didn't have other outlets, then potentially that could have led to other things. So um, yeah. I thank the Warren for that. It really did help to boost my confidence knowing that, that this place was here and, and, and there's a bit of a, a lifeline and somebody willing to listen and, and in order to support. So roughly around the age of about 28, I was, I was um, back in Hull. I still was working in the, in, in the factories and, and um, I became qualified in health and safety. And, and, and so when I left working in the factories, I set up my own business, um, just doing health and safety training. So to date, um, now 2016, we have 70 employees. We have 20 um, different offices around the world. We actually set up in Dubai about 10 years ago, so we have a big training center there. I have quite a few called this, uh, sorry, business trips there. <laughs> you can leave that bit <laughs> in. Um, yeah, so um, things like South Africa, I go there quite often, and, and, and a lot of the other offices are in, in conjunction um, with, with local partners. However, our places like India, Dubai, and South Africa, they're all people that were originally worked in Hull um, and started off more in, in, let's say, junior sales level, worked their way up, and, and now they actually manage, manage the offices, and, and, and most of them actually live out in, in the country. So. The Warren was very instrumental in, in, in building my confidence and, and, and sorting out certain problems, understanding myself better and, and, and the wilder world. So it was beautiful. How many hundreds of thousands, millions of, of, of teenagers, people in their early 20s, who were just lost the way a little bit and, and have that place to turn to. Um, so, you know, it's, 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 it, you know, it really is a, an important key part of, of, of Hull. And it's, you know, it's one of the places, as I mentioned earlier, is, is, is close to my heart because it, it helped me out so much. So, you know, it would be good to see the Warren 
standing here for, for many years to come, definitely.